Welcome to Norton Select here at IPC Apex. Uh, I'm joined by Carlos Boris, who's the general manager. Correct. Nice to see you, Carlos. Nice seeing you. Okay. Um, so you've been with ACE for, or, well, sorry, the previous version of Norton Select for, for some time. Uh, but there's been quite a few uh, upgrades to the machines over the last uh, year or two. Uh, and we're standing here in front of one of the, the latest versions. So let's go through it from start to finish and look at some of the uh, innovations that you've built into your selective soldering systems. Sure. Okay. So first of all, here we have a um, flux and preheat module. Okay. And this one um, you can connect um, prior to any of our other selective soldering equipment. Mm -hmm. The advantage of that, of course, is that you split the work that you have to do on a board in different stations. Um, and so you can you flux your preheat, and then you do your soldering in a, in a different module. In a different module, okay. Now, your, your fluxes, though, have um, very little overspray. Um, uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, so we have two different models, and this specific machine has both of them, and you can select which one you use. One of them is a sprayer, and that one has a little more overspray, but it's very, very fast. The other one's a jet, mm -hmm. and that one has micro drops that can really target just the minimum amount of flux uh, that you could put in a, in a board and be successful. Of course, the advantage is once you process it through the heating and the, and the soldering station, you have no residue. Right. So that's what's important about it. Absolutely. And, and, and no residue lying on the factory floor either. <laughs> that's right. Which is, which is good. Um, so, uh, preheaters, we're using infrared. Do you, do you have other versions as well? Uh, not at the moment. We are working on uh, some changes to an infrared and we're working on a model. There'll be a mix uh, between infrared and, and convective, giving you greater uniformity, yep. but still allowing you, affording you the speed to ramp up and the closed loop control mm -hmm. that IR affords you, which is the convective doesn't do. Great. So let's move up to the, the second module now and uh, take a look at that. Okay. okay. So Carlos, now we're standing in front of the the second part, basically where we're we've got the solder pots. Uh, and one of the first things, obviously, that sticks out to me is the actual massive amount of space inside this machine uh, for for board capacity. What is the largest board size you can accommodate? So we can accommodate all the way up to 18 by 24 in this machine. Right. So that's, that's a pretty big board size. So you'll get these large back planes in there. Correct. And, the, and so this machine is the one that has gone probably a little bit more of innovation. And I'll point out the two features that are, are fairly new. One is this device here that's a nozzle tinner. Uh, frequently, as, as the nozzle is circulating the solder, you'll build a small layer of dross on top of the, on top of the wave, if you will. This nozzle tinner dispenses a small amount of a wire, solder wire, mm -hmm. which has internally has flux. So then the nozzle drives up to it, and as it melts the wire, it dispenses a very small amount of flux that completely cleans up the nozzle. So, that, yeah, so the flux basically stops the dross buildup. Right, and it actually dissolves the, the flux, the dross that's already there, and turns it back into, into solder, right? Um, um, okay, so this has got a, a, a two-pot configuration here. Uh, you can obviously do a couple of different things with that. Um, maybe you can talk us through uh, what different configurations you can do. Sure. So originally this machine was built for people that wanted to have lead and unleaded alloys on the same machine at the same time so they could reconfigure and run different products very quickly. But so that's one option and the machine senses which pot you have on each one of the stations and given the program it can double check to make sure that you have the right alloy. The second thing you can do with this machine is you can have part of the work done with the same, if you're using the same alloy, you can have part of the work done with one in one station and the other one in the second station. And one of the innovations this year is it can now share the work area. So you can do a larger board and um, share some of the space where the, um, the pots would collide originally, but now the intelligence is there in the software to make them not collide. Excellent. Okay. So um, that, that increases the throughput cycle time, reduces the cycle time uh, on, on the system. Right, because now with the two machines in line, you have four stations, and you can do uh, you can divide the soldering work, which usually takes the longest, divided into two. So that that's what gives you the throughput. Right. Right. Okay. 
Super. Um, well, now, which, which model is this? Because this is one of your bigger models uh, I'm seeing on the booth. You've got right. three or four different models. Uh, which, which one is this and what other ones have we got uh, on the booth? So this one is the Integra uh, 103 ILD. Uh, and the D stands for dual, dual gantry. Yep. Um, you have your Fluxum preheat, which is, we talked about. Also in the booth, we have a 103 IL, which is a little bit like a version of this one, but with one pod. We have some um, Integra, another Integra model at 508.3, which is a three station machine, but it combines a dual pod on the third station. So that one can do two boards at the same time in parallel and it self-adjusts the uh, spacing of the board so it can be reconfigured automatically. And the last one we have is a, um, a Nova 300, which is an entry-level machine, which is a very, very small footprint, under a meter per side, and it can do a 300 by 300 millimeter board, mm -hmm. all the functions in one machine. So it's ideal for somebody that's starting up. Right. So you really, you really do cater for, for the whole market, everything from uh, Prototyping small small volume uh, to uh, you know sort of um, high mix small run uh, to the, the larger volume uh, manufacturers. The largest machine that we have right now is a six pot version of the of the 508, wow. which has um, five stations. Right. So it's a pretty powerful machine and it. It keeps up with a lot of volume, a lot of production. I was going to say that's a beast. That must obviously be used for the Asia market. I'm guessing um, uh, Europe and Asia mostly. Uh, we're starting to see some interest of it in, in Mexico. Okay. Well, Carlos, great to see the new innovations here uh, at Norton Select. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you.